Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 on how to create a Friday Night Funkin' Game in Roblox. In this video, we're gonna firstly see what we have done in the last tutorial, which I forgot for some reason. So let's go ahead and play the game with two players and see what we've done so far. So we're doing pretty good with this series, I think. And yeah, let's start and... Wait for it to load and hopefully I'm muted. Hopefully. Let's see. For some reason it's not loading. Let me do this. This. Let's center this right here and this right over here. Alright, so. What we'll be doing is press start. And it says waiting for another player. And when we go here and press start, it says start and stuff starts happening. What we'll be doing now is testing if the leaf button works. So it does work. And other player ha the other player has to leave too. So we've got to fix that right now. And also we have to, re to disable the um, uh, resetting button. So game. Inside of your main client script, the game colon get service, uh, start GY, colon set core, uh, and you want to put reset button callback, comma false. And now you should not be able to reset your character, I think. I've never tried this before, but I think it should work. Alright, so you can't reset your character as you can see, and that's pretty easy to fix. So that's fixed for now. What we'll be having to do right now is basically call the add arrow function every time we play the game. So you want to copy the what you did with the while loop, which I don't remember where I put. Yes, this. You want to copy this, control X to cut. And when the uh, thing works, we're gonna have to do this. So, game, colon, get service, run service, or maybe repeat, wait, or maybe a while loop. Repeat, repeat, wait. Uh, let's put a one, or Let's firstly try out a while loop, so while to do, put a weight like 0.5, and we're going to do this. And if you go ahead and play the game now, it should uh, start throwing arrows, and when you press the right arrow, it should turn green, and uh, I mean neon, and other stuff like that. So the server is loaded. Now we've got to wait for the clients to, lo to load and see how this looks like so we're loaded in we're gonna go to the first place and do the same thing for here so let's do that right here and it says started and as you can see we have these now we're gonna add some leader size very easy to do in here inside of your player added event that you, we added uh in the last part we're gonna have a folder so local leader stats is equal to instance dot new and we're gonna create a folder and we'll do leader stats uh, leader stats dot name is equal to and leader stats make sure you type leader stats like me and then leader stats dot parent is equal to plr now in here drop some a few lines and we're gonna do local wins is equal to instance dot new full uh in value comma or i'm not going to be using the comma because i don't like using that anymore uh i i found out that it's inefficient so we're not going to be using that so we're going to add some wins and wins dot name dot parent before we do that we're going to set their value to zero and wins dot parent is equal to and we're gonna parent it to the leader stats. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, you should have a wins leader stats in here. So as you can see, we have wins 
and if we go back to the main server we're gonna add some data stores which are very very easy to add so local data store data store is equal to game colon get service data store service colon get this store get data store and we're gonna put in the data store that we want so let's do a test data store you can rename this whatever you want i'm just gonna put test and in here we're gonna have a player removing event so game dot players dot player removing colon connect function and we're gonna have plr so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a uh, p call function and in here what we'll be doing is set get do set async so so uh data store colon set async plr dot user id dot dot and wins wins and comma plr dot leader stats dot wins dot value and then all we have to do is on on the top here we will put a local wins val or uh, wins saved and we're gonna put a p call function and in here we will just put a uh, data store colon uh, or wins wins data wins saved is equal to data store colon get async this time get async uh plr dot user id dot dot and wins so we spelled it like this here so we're gonna copy that and paste it right here and they we don't need the comma anymore and in here all we have to do is uh do player wins uh dot value is equal to wins saved now you want to go to home game settings go to uh security and make sure to enable studio access to api services and now if you go ahead and before we, we do this actually let's test this right now and see if it works so i'm doing data stores from now because i want to get everything ready very 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 soon so let's put 500 uh wins and if we go ahead and leave the game I'm not sure if it's gonna work right now. All right, so it does work, it does work. But just to make it even safer, what we'll be doing is game combine to close function. I'm gonna put a wait two seconds. And now, as you can see, our wins do save. All we have to do now is think about what we should add. So we have that ready. Now we have to wait the song dot difficulty dot value. So scroll all the way down. Wait uh, song dot difficulty difficulty dot value. I'm not sure if I called it like this. So songs difficulty and it has a value called difficulty. So let's put difficulty dot value. And if you go ahead and play the game now, what we were gonna do is wait the length of the sound. So I think there is something called length. Yes. And there is something called uh, looped. So make sure looped is unchecked and search for time length. All right, so what, we'll, what we're gonna do is instead of having a while loop here just remove the, these two arguments and we'll do repeat repeat wait um song dot difficulty difficulty dot value so just copy this paste it here onto uh song dot or actually i think If we do repeat wait until song dot uh, now nah, I think this is not gonna work. 
it's not gonna work. All right, so let's firstly just copy this for now. We're gonna figure out the time length later. So let's paste it right here and we'll keep on doing this so remove the weight sound on difficulty dot value i'm sorry if this is confusing for you but trust me it isn't and to uh yeah and to um we're gonna have a variable up here called local finished so local uh finished and we're gonna set that to false onto i'm gonna put that right here so based on what we just copied onto um finished finished is equal to true what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to figure out a way to uh wait the time length inside of a uh while uh, inside of a repeat loop so let's try this out ourselves and see how it is right now i'm pretty sure it's just the same but if you go ahead and try it out it should be just the same but as you can see we are basically just basically broke everything so until finished is equal equal to true not equal so make sure you put an equal equal to true and now go ahead and test your game or before i do that i just want to go to control a script menu format document format document all right now if you go ahead and play the game with two players you should be able to see that we have we wait the difficulty so it's it depends on the difficulty and that the difficulty actually works. So let's go ahead, play the game. We can still leave, we can do this, and it works. And let's try this out for ourselves. Yes, works perfectly. And also, if it keeps choosing the same arrow over and over and over again, it's just because the audio is muted for me. But I'm 100% sure that it will work for you too. And I already tried that out. Right, I, I, I'm so bad. And you also have to log, to lock the camera. So let's do that right now. Let's go to here, and we're gonna add a part. Press F to zoom in. Rename it to Camp Part. And what we'll be doing is go to model surface, go to studs, and select the any surface. And now I'll go to surface, press studs again, and check the front surface. And you'll see that this is the front surface. So we're gonna rotate it like this, and put it right in here. So let's do like let's do something like this, where it's like zoomed in. A little bit and we're gonna put it inside of the stadium and make sure that the transparency is set to one now we're gonna get the camera which i think we already got from here so in here we're gonna have a local camera so variable for the camera local cam is equal to workspace dot current camera and here we're gonna scroll all the way down and camera camera account dot camera type camera type is equal to enum dot camera type dot uh, scriptable and cam dot c frame is equal to uh stadium wait uh, yes stadium dot cam part dot c frame and now if we go ahead and play i think it should be working just fine so let's try that out if we go this it should not work right now because we have not uh we don't have two players so let's get two players to be in the game and see how this is in the next video we're gonna have a scroll a uh, score system which will be really really useful
and a lot more stuff. I'm sorry if this tutorial is basically very short, short and does not have anything that's like really interesting. But we have some bugs fixed, so hey, it gets the job done in my opinion. So let's go here. And as you can see, the camera is working, but we have a little problem, a big problem. The camera falls down. So select your cam part, make sure that it's anchored, and test the game again. And now it should be working. For some reason it does not want to load, but that's not a problem. We can deal with that. Let's just move this guy real quick to here. And move the other guy right here. Just real quick. So, we're going to go ahead and progress this. Do the same thing here. And our camera is now locked. And that looks pretty epic. I'm just going to make a zoom out a little bit or something. But hey, it works. What we're going to be doing now is when they leave, when they press the leave button. Uh, we will set the camera dot camera type dot camera type is equal to in dot camera type dot I think it was follow or custom I think wait let me try that out I gotta try this for myself I'm not too sure though I'm pretty sure yes it does work so that's pretty cool so i think we've done enough progress for this video if this helped make sure to subscribe drop a like down below drop a comment if you want and i'll see you all in the next one bye